Hey guys, it's Liv here, just throwing this at the beginning of the video. Uh, we ended up getting some leaks on just general mons from the Crown Tundra, and while we don't have any stats leaked yet, or any hidden abilities or moves leaked yet for Calyrex, uh, we did get a lot of stuff, so I am just prefacing because leaks are still supposed to be coming out over the coming days. If for some reason Calyrex stats leak within the next two hours, that is, I'm currently running this video just before noon, so if they do leak for some reason in the next two hours before the video goes up, it is not my fault. Blame the people who are leaking it. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna post this either way though. Even if the stats leak at 159, this video will be going up still at two o'clock regardless. So just feel free to laugh at me about how wrong Owen and I are down below. See you guys in the video. Bye. Hey guys, it's your girl Liv here. Bring you guys our final episode in the Crown Hundred Prediction series. As you mentioned, we are not doing Galish Sloking, though I'll probably throw in some sort of bait in the intro where there will be a Galish Sloking slide and it'll just be really depressing because you guys won't be getting that episode ever. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah, so we're doing Calyrex though, an actually cool Pokemon, an actually cool Psychic type that isn't Galar Sloking. Um, if you guys enjoy, leave a like down below. Uh, check out Owen, he's uploading current hundred content, of course, along with myself. So we gotta get Owen some love as well if you are new to the channel. Uh, obviously subscribe, subscriptions help, they're perfectly free. And yeah, uh, leave a like down below, comment your thoughts on potential stat lines or potential moves that this thing could get, or even hidden ability predictions. We'd love to hear your guys' thoughts down below. And with that being said, Owen, why don't you start off with what we do know about Calyrex? So yeah, um, nothing. We know it's type, which is going to be Psychic Grass, which has its pros and cons. It's not as bad as everybody thinks. Um, but obviously the four times week u turn weakness does kind of suck, but we'll talk about that as we go into it. And then we know its ability being not nerve, which is um, in draft league especially, which is more so what um, we do focus here on, is uh, actually a pretty good ability, especially if this thing does lean towards being more offensive, which uh, with the clues that we do have from this thing, I could definitely see it be, uh, being more of that, you know, especially offensive powerhouse. And being that to where your opponent can't eat their resist fairies if, you know, they are... Rendo or Payapa, or if you, you know, get ground coverage or fighting coverage and they're Shooka slash Chop or something like that, they try and chew a hit from you and revenge you. It's really nice to be able to uh, not allow your opponents to do that, you know, in order to uh, check you offensively. There's ones like Haxorus that really, really like running that, especially in draft, uh, just because it makes it that much harder to deal with them in the end game when your team's a little bit chipped down and stuff like that, uh, which could be cool. But other than that, we know nothing besides it's got a really big head mm -hmm. um, and it has a in an interesting typing yeah it's a very big brain pokemon you you mere mortals can't comprehend just how good this is going to be and i'm here to, today to explain this with owen just how good it's going to be because he's the only one who can comprehend it so in terms of offensive moves that we think let's look at uh, psy shock's a pretty obvious one i say that actually but selby doesn't get it and it's the same typing so maybe it's not as obvious as i think it is but it should get it it should get it i hope that this is what gonna It'll basically just correct Celebi's horrible lapse in judgment in not getting Psy Shock. Uh, Earth Power and Aura Steer feel pretty obvious. Leaf Storm feels pretty obvious. Psychic feels pretty obvious. Ancient Power is kind of a must. I mean, a, a lot of legends get Ancient Power anyway. They're legends, in mine as well. Energy Ball, Giga Drain feel kind of obvious. As long as it gets some sort of coverage for Darks and Bug, which feels pretty obvious through Aura Steer and, and Ancient Power, especially with Aura Steer being a tu tutor now. It makes no sense if this didn't get it, if I'm being honest. It just feels like it kind of embodies a Pokemon that would get both of those. Uh, hopefully it gets Leaf Storm. Hopefully it gets Psy Shock. Psy Shock especially would be huge because otherwise a lot of Combine Psychic types are just going to set up on this. And at least with potential Psy Shock, it can get around those. So we're going to hope. We'll see what happens. Yeah, for sure. Um, As for some more status and you know moves like that this thing's basically going to just be a uh you know psychic type pokemon it's going to get the same moves that most psychics do end up getting uh i could definitely see this thing getting recovered just based on you know the way it looks and you know the uh the clues that we get most psychic types do end up getting that as well and i don't see this thing being any different trick another very uh common psychic type move Calm Mind and maybe Cosmic Power. Cosmic Power I'm a little iffy on, but especially with how big brain this thing is, I'd be very surprised if it didn't. Encore is one I could definitely see. Um, some ones that didn't really fit on the uh, the slide that most seconds get as well. It's going to be dual screens. Um, I think pretty much I, I'd be very surprised to see any seconds that don't yeah. get dual screens, honestly. But um, so it should get dual screens in my mind in my mind and uh magic code is another one i could potentially see as well but the main ones you're going to see in this thing for sure are going to be like recover 
set up maybe an occasional encore or screen or something like that. Um, you know, just generally being a nuisance in that way and having that general psychic type utility. For sure. So in terms of this Pokemon, I don't necessarily think it'll actually be that utility based. I think it's actually going to be very offensive Pokemon. And that's, <laughs> I think it partially has to do with the cover legends we got this generation. So the cover legends that we got this generation, which d does play heavily into the choice for the first stat line, had 92 HP, 130 attack, 115 in both defenses, 80 in special attack, and 138 in speed. Now this is for their base forms because the alternate forms differ between Zacian and Zamazenta, but both the base forms had that. So I, and I don't think it's going to necessarily mirror Adonatus. So to be fair, Adonatus could very well just be the Pokemon that like, that kind of shoots out the window and makes it my theory completely irrelevant. But I do think this could potentially be a more special, but 600 base stat version of that. Similar to how like Zygarde and also Necrozma were there, um, especially with the rumors being that this is going to merge. And while we don't have predictions for the merge satellites, because we don't even know what it's merging with, uh, we do uh, have that sort of just paralleling in that sense with the box legends, because obviously Necrozma parallel with both of those. So I do fully see that this could maybe just be a watered down special variant of those with 92 in HP, similar to the 92 from the others, 80 in attack, mirrored from the special attack, uh, 80 in defenses, which was the scaled down version of both 115 defenses to make it a base 600 stat Pokemon, 130 special attack, because it's the mirror to the 130 attack, and then the 138 speed to match. This Pokemon's dex description as well mentions that it's very delicate and slight, and that it moves with grace and dignity, so I would be very shocked to see this Pokemon being like a slower end. And while I think that it might not necessarily hit the 138 speed, I could definitely see it being a faster Pokemon. Like even like a 110 or like a 115 would probably fit this. It's a very nimble looking Pokemon besides its head. But I don't think its head's going to weigh it down. It just seems like it's going to move really fast. So we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, I definitely see this thing at the very least being very strong, especially offensively. Um, the kind of way I looked at it was... I, I went a little bit slower, not necessarily like slow, slow. I went with the base 80 speed um, and I kind of uh, took the idea of this thing being really, really bulky, especially just because of how um, how most psychic types are, you know, more physically frail and uh, obviously more especially defensive. But also the fact that this thing is like known for uh, being extremely smart and being able to see into the past, future and fret, uh present and future uh you know pretty easily and stuff like that i could definitely see that making it lean more towards like especially defensive bulky mon uh while being extremely fail on the physical side especially due to this thing's size um besides its giant head that you're seeing it's actually a really really small mon i believe it's only what three foot seven height wise and then 17 pounds so uh it will be dropping to stray u-turns so it's not going to be like a hoop on bound that can chew uh you know a random stray like special attacker throwing off U-turn and stuff like that. Um, so I went with that, but I did go with a 140 base special attack, something very, very strong. And again, if this thing does get coverage to hit steals and um, dark types, especially, I think it could be a very, very potent wall breaker in the right scenario. It could be a great call mine sweeper if you are positioning it correctly and things like that. Maybe with webs, it could be awesome. Um, though I definitely could see it being very fast. I kind of went with this more um, especially bulky, you know, just complete special beast, uh, whether it be offensively or defensively. I'm on. That that definitely makes sense. I can definitely see it being a lot more specially bulky. I will say, uh, onto your point of the really small height, especially the fact that its head, like the the brain on its head, takes up like a third of that height. This is probably gonna be a very frail Pokemon. It, it looks like it could get snapped like a twig. So I don't see it really being at least physically defensive. Though I mean, <laughs> with everything in that head, I could definitely actually see it being pretty specially defensive. You know, maybe it just uses like some sort of sort of really nice magic energy to protect itself from special hits or something i don't know um mm -hmm. in terms of potential hidden abilities though i think we had actually some really cool options here my personal opinion was going to be tinted lens uh similar to unnerve i just felt like this was a really nice like sort of psychic option to get around potential walls that would wall this sort of typing Unnerve obviously helps with the resist berries and then tinted lens especially just helping with resist pokemon i thought that would be a really nice sort of in tandem relationship with the abilities and it would be really nice to just give this an option to really force your opponents to predict uh, are they going to run a nerve and stop my berries from super effective hits or are they going to run tinted lens and stop me from having resistant pokemon so i think that could be really cool especially if this was to go a more offensive route uh oh what did you think this would get so for me i kind of went with the same idea of this thing being offensive and kind of pushing passage checks um, despite having kind of a lackluster typing offensively and getting analytic 
Um, if you do get this thing in and position it correctly on the right mon, uh, say you come in on some, you know, bulky water that's not doing much damage to you because you got a lot of special bulk and obviously you're chewing scalds, or, uh, you know, hydro pumps and surfs, and you throw off a big Giga Drain, even if they do switch into a resist, if you have sufficient hazard support and they're switching in and they're taking that analytic boosted hit, it's going to kind of rack up over time. It's the reason mons like Starmie, despite not being very strong, can be really good wall breakers in certain matchups and scenarios if they do force the right switch-ins. And I think that this thing could really benefit from it. And again, with it being such a big brain, you know, smart type Pokemon that can, you know, see all and know all, um, it getting analytic just makes a lot of sense to me thematically. And I think it could really help it out uh, on the offensive side of things as well. Um, you know, just making it a better Pokemon. Yeah, for sure. I think the analytic would be a really nice option, especially if we were to go with your sort of stat line where it had only base 80 speed. Base 80 mm -hmm. speed with analytic would get pretty easily used Again, a lot of matchups just because 80 is like that really, it's fast enough for a speed tier, especially with the right bulk, but it's still slow to where stuff like like 90 to 100, especially in the Wi Fi format, it's a pretty average speed tier to hit. So being able to dent stuff like Ments, for example, with a really nice analytic boosted psychic attack, or even just stuff I guess that wouldn't necessarily be super effective, like Lando, for example, or like Porygon 2, even if you were to run like a minus speed set. You could well, actually, I guess, Porygon 260, but like Porygon Z or like just other like base 90 mons. I, I think these are all kind of bad examples to be honest, but it's really hard to think of stuff at this time. Um, but just stuff like that though, if you were to run like a minus speed set, you could easily just dent them with an analytic hit. It's slow enough to where you could really pull that off versus a lot of stuff. Even like stuff like Rotoms, for example, you could pretty easily just hit an analytic boost psychic and they're gonna probably get to a KO if not even O code if you were like a spec set. So I think this could have a lot of merit as a really nice slow analytic breaker. Just sort of depends on the route they go with it. Oh yeah, for sure. And even if it is base 80 and you don't want to go minus speed and you know super slow, you can still use it as that like, you know, you can switch in your check to me, but if it's faster than me, um, naturally too, it's going to be a lot harder for you to deal with me in that kind of sense. Which is gonna be, um, you know, pretty cool. While still outspeeding the slower stuff that you want to, and then maybe the slower stuff you want to still call mines on and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So definitely a pretty cool option there for uh, Calyrex. Yeah, I think Calyrex could be a really nice option. I personally think it'll just be a better Celebi, assuming it gets the right move pool. Uh, it could obviously just get a really garbage move pool. I mean, the typing would provide that it could be a very high possibility, but we'll have to see what happens. I have a lot of faith for this, and hey, if the rumors are true this could get potential other forms, I'm just holding out my hope that those other forms will be so broken that with the typing, they'll maybe balance out to make this like a tier 1 threat. Though, the hidden abilities and move pool might very well just carry it to that regardless. Oh yeah, like I mean, look at Necro. Necro obviously yeah. isn't half as good as the mons it fuses with, but it's still a giant, giant, massive threat on its own, um, especially in Gen 8. So yeah, definitely so be the case. We'll just have to see what happens. If you guys did enjoy this, of course, leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, and share your thoughts down below. Of course, we'll have to see and just see what happens. I mean, the Crown Hunters are literally going to drop like tomorrow. I think. I think it drops tomorrow. Um, regardless, though. We'll see you guys' thoughts down below. Make sure to subscribe to both myself and Owen because we'll be doing daily content during Crown Hunter, obviously. I'm going to do daily Crown Hunter videos even alongside my stuff going up this weekend. So make sure to check those out. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.